Well, I bought this excursion with a plan. I picked it up for 6400 bucks, and the day after I bought it, a guy offered me 10 grand for it. It's got a V10 on it, or in it, and we have gone to four corners and a bunch of times, and to Amarillo, Texas, twice, back and forth. And then up into Wyoming, all doing kid swap, weddings, uh, stuff like that. I have never owned an SUV before. I'm not a four-wheeler guy. I don't have anything against it. It's just not part of my culture. Uh, so, the plan, the reason why I got this excursion was I was going to rent uh, car haulers and get my cars up from California and then rent a 17 or 16 foot trailer and get my stuff from Kentucky and consolidate everything here in Utah the only thing is we're not staying in Utah so we're moving to Amarillo I'm not getting rid of it yet because I can still use it for a tow dolly and it's been pretty awesome it'll go 600 miles on a, a fuel load um my theory on the twitchy steering with these excursions is it's set up for towing so you have what uh when your caster or caster angle on the front suspension is set for when the vehicle is fully loaded and when you're driving it empty it uh goes i with the alignments i think it uh works if the top of the kingpin is facing towards the front bumper that's negative caster and if it's facing towards the driver's seat it's a positive caster and the more positive caster you have the more stable a vehicle is you can see it on a mercedes benz or anything like that when they turn their steering wheel this vehicle was designed for going to work and being loaded and being heavy so therefore what happens is when the rear end starts to sag the front steering becomes more stable and that's the re way, way I think the excursion was built is to be run like that now this thing came with almost brand new tires I put about 15,000 miles on it just on road trips back and forth at Moab and Four Corners in Shiprock, New Mexico and it's been awesome it's actually my daughter's personal limo and nobody wants me to get rid of it but the plan was to use it for trailering and then turn around and sell it and it's got the v10 in it four-wheel drive it's got the yeah, well it's a GM term but it's a positive traction rear end or limited slip uh, everything works on it except for some of the electrical is a little weird but I, from what I understand that's the that's normal for an excursion so anyway that's the story of my excursion it's kind of fun to drive it's kept my me being able to go to work here in in Utah during the winter so anyway it's been a good vehicle it gets about on the freeway it gets just below 15 miles to the gallon with the v10 and it's a just a tabletop torque curve it's totally flat it accelerates the same and it'll get up to in a quarter mile it'll get up to about 75 80 miles an hour slightly uphill i haven't timed it actually but anyway that's the story of the excursion it's been a pretty awesome vehicle i almost am tempted to keep it but I have too many vehicles and it's not for sale yet but eventually it'll end up on the market anyway have a good day talk to you guys all later